Runway Hill guys, this is James and Latanya, our beautiful sister. You can find her YouTube channel in the link below. There ain't nothing on it. And uh, we're gonna do a movie review. Um, what's the movie review? Uh, oh, Mr. Bean's Holiday. <laughs> I'll let Latanya start with what she thought about it. So, Mr. Bean's Holiday. Where to begin? First of all, Mr. Bean is the only person who can make a movie and barely speak and just grunt at people and not get punched in the face. Number one. Number two. That was pretty funny. Number three. He needs to use his words. He needs to use his words? He needs to use his words. Well, he was in so much trouble because he did not use words. Oh, yeah, Mr. Bean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's yeah, trying to no, burn yeah. uh, Just tell me you're trying to get to the beach. You don't have to show pictures. Oh, oh, yeah, he, Mr. Bean, the story of, yeah, he went to Cannes or Con. I guess it, I guess The place where they do the film festivals, the independent film festivals. Well, they kept saying it without the S at the end, so maybe that's how it's pronounced in French. And he got sidetracked. Well, he, let's see, the movie starts, he wins the thing, and then he starts, he heads down there. And obviously, you see, he can't speak the language. And then he doesn't speak. Yeah. Then he. Oh, the one of the people that. Because of him, somebody's a guy who has a kid on the train gets left at the train station because Mr. Bean wants to take this video of him getting on the train. So the guy gets left at the train station. The kid's on the train by himself. Mr. Bean's trying to help him. Or something like this. He feels sad, so he tries to make the kid feel better. Kid smacks him in the face. Then they get to the next train stop. The kid gets off because that's where his daddy told him to do get off at the next train station. And Mr. Bean feels bad about it, but only after. Well, he feels bad. Goes to try to protect the kid because you know some drunk was running around and whatnot. And then <sighs> the kid steals his video camera and watches him run after the train. And then he tries to help the kid find his father. Yeah, and they run across the little girl who's the actress and uh, what's his name? Willem Dafoe. He's he's the man that is supposed to be the director of this film, which is really funny too. Um, and before I say what I thought about the movie, mostly a Christian disclaimer. Um, sexual morality is in the motion picture because for about I guess eight to ten minutes a long time in the film Mr. Drew Bean is dressed up like a woman and the kids dress up like a girl they try to sneak into the film festival or whatever so there won't be going inside my library and so I just want to let you know that if you uh, don't want to see that you don't need to go ahead and watch that movie I guess some people they, I guess they thought it was funny years ago but it isn't funny, never was funny, so I'll put that in there. Um, funny things in the movie, well the music's very good, uh, whatever the person's name who did it, I enjoyed the music, especially the opening. Um, it was filmed in mostly sunset, I like that, so you actually saw more of the yellows instead of the noonday sun type colors. The people fell asleep. At the man's movie oh, premiere. Oh my goodness. Speaking of falling asleep, I know we're supposed to be giving a review of how we feel about the movie and not telling you about the movie, but it's too late at this point. So how about the girl that's driving down the highway? The girl who's <laughs> helping them, okay? They're driving this little, looks like a Mini Cooper, but it's really not. They're driving down the highway. Now, you know normally if you're driving and you're tired, and even though we're not supposed to, forgive me, we do sometimes. That's when you get the Mountain Dews, or maybe not James, but that's when you get the Mountain Dews, the coffees, the gum, turn the music up, whatever you got to do to keep it going. Because you know you only got two more hours. And you might cost you your life, but you're going to make it those <laughs> two hours. So they draw them, right? Pulling an all-nighter. And she falls asleep. Now, normally when you fall asleep, you're driving and you're like, oh, and you catch yourself. Not her. She falls asleep and just... Out. Like the, she is the out horn is burning. Like the horn beeps, she doesn't wake up. But Mr. Bean, who's sleeping, he wakes up. Did she take his Xanax? Like, did she take her sleeping pill? I know she had to take some Ambien because there's no way you're gonna hit your head on the steering wheel that hard and not wake up. 
And it's not like she did strenuous work that day either. I can understand if maybe she was laboring on the construction yard or cutting down some trees because she was lumberjacking all day. But she wasn't doing all that. All she did was carry a tray in a movie. To the actors, yeah. Like, that's it. That's all she did was walk out of a building and carry a tray. But, anyways, go ahead. So yes, yeah, they fell asleep during the movie premiere. People were following it. I've never seen that before. It was supposed to be a boring movie, and Mr. Bean. It was the ultimate selfie movie. That's what that was. It was the all about. It was all movie. about him. It was so interesting yes. too. Even when they had the part where they were supposed to run and catch the bad guy, I mean, it was like twelve seconds later, and they were looking at him again <laughs> on the screen. So it's a Mr. Bean. Um, but it was really cool at the end, they sung a Frank Sinatra song in French, is that what it was? In French. Yes. So it turned into a musical at the end. So that was pretty yes, cool. they, I think the movie had some real interesting, just Mr. Bean star type sure. stuff. If he, you like Mr. Bean stuff, you know how he is. He just he is. He don't say anything, he does ridiculous stuff, and it's funny. But you could not get and away with it Sometimes it's not ha ha he be funny, it's just like, oh my goodness, that is the stupidest thing I've ever seen funny. But you know that if you did it in real life, you, my friend, would go to jail. <laughs> you would go to jail. Don't do it.